Alaska, and with the rainy weather or change in weather, we need lots of red blood cells to keep us warm. But you know, the body has 20 to 30 trillion red blood cells, and if those blood cells get too low, or the healthy red blood cells get too low, and it's a condition that we call anemia. Now, the red blood cell, its purpose is to carry around oxygen to the rest of the body, so if there's not enough healthy red blood cells, we don't get enough oxygen, and we get short of breath, and we feel tired, and we feel weak. So, what can cause somebody to have not enough healthy red blood cells? Well, red blood cells are made in the bone marrow, and if the bone marrow is not working good, uh, that can happen with illnesses, lots of chronic illnesses that people have, like simple r chronic arthritis can suppress the red blood cell count. Or somebody can have ulcers and bleeding ulcers, or somebody can have other conditions where we lose blood. And then we need iron to be able to incorporate blood in the bone marrow and B12 and folate and some other vitamins. So it all fits together to have nice good red blood cells and have a nice pink color to our cheeks and where we feel better. If you feel tired and if you look at yourself and if you look at the conjunctiva and if you look at your fingernails and they look pale, then it's a good time to check with your doctor to see if you've got anemia. There's uh, nothing that makes us feel better than if we get anemia corrected because it gives us lots of strength and we feel better and we'll do better. So anemia causes lots of problems, fast heart rate, shortness of breath, weakness, fatigue, uh, shortness of breath with activity. So um, uh, we want to stay pink and healthy. Now questions from the viewer. Uh, Dr. Bob, when should I get my flu shot? Well, that's a good question because beginning in late August, we begin to get little ticklers uh, from uh, television and signs in front of drugstores and say it's time to get your free flu shot. Well, flu shots uh, should be given October 15th to November 15th. Right now would be fine. But what we want to do is get our flu shot where it's working well at the uh, season when flu comes around, which is frequently January and February. So when we get our flu shot, it's really taking into effect four to six weeks, and then it will last four to six months. So with that in mind, we need to be sure that we line up to get our flu shot. If you've had problems not being able to get uh, your flu shot because of allergy reactions, uh, be sure that you check with your doctor because most people can now get flu shots and we do want everybody to get their flu shot, stay healthy, so that the people that they're exposed to and the person uh, doesn't have big time sickness. Once you get the flu, you know it. And now Leslie, uh, back to you, get your flu shot about a month from now and let's have a good Sunday. Thanks for the